Right, so let's uh, have a look at some of the stuff we didn't have a look at here. Aware of dog. Plays pet dog. This dog is staring blankly into the snow, waiting for it to turn into art. Okay, fine. On the floor inside is a box of Pomeranians. Pomeranians. Oh, I, okay, I see. Hello. That dog considers itself an artist, but doesn't ever know what to create. It probably doesn't help that his brain is the size of a piece of kibble. Okay. Cool. Uh, this is an X and O puzzle where you have to get these all lined up. Um, okay, so something like this. Down. Oh, I think I solved it already. Cool. That was, like, really easy. There we go. Solved. That made a bridge. Uh, I'm not gonna go that way then if that's all if that made a bridge. Ooh, what's this? Oh, this is obviously papyrus. It's a snow papyrus. Yep, and this is a snow sands. It's a lump of snow with the word sands written on it in red marker. Cool. Right. Uh wait, we have to solve the puzzle again? No, we can just go on. That was uh that was not what I meant to do. We don't have to solve the puzzle again, basically. There we go. And we're out of here. Into the forest. And out the other side. Oh, a little bit of snow on our head. We can go right here. It's a snow path. Okay. Woof. What a tiny doghouse. Fantastic. And this is a snow path. This, however, is a snow path. Surprisingly, it's a snow path. Snow path. Is it really a snow path? Behold, a snow path. Eh? There's 30G inside this. What is this? Oh, cool. It's a snow path. Okay. We got 30G, though. What's this? Oh, it's a dog. Bark. Oh, it's a big dog. It's the greater dog. Okay, now I have been told apparently I should uh, do more acting with these things, but uh, we will see what we've got. Let's check it. Greater dog, 15 attack, 8 defense. It's so excited it just, it, that it thinks fighting is just play. Okay. Greater dog is watching you intently. Um, well, how about we ignore it? Greater dog inches closer. There we go. Greater dog just wants affection. Let's ignore it again. Greater dog inches closer. Greater dog just wants affection. Nope. Greater dog inches closer. Greater dog is making puppy dog eyes. Nope. Greater dog decides you're too boring. You won. Oh! I did not think that was the right answer. Yay! We did it. Bye. <laughs> okay. Well, that was, that was an easy fight. I thought the right answer was play. Okay. What's over here? Eh, some weird things. Griffrot confronts you. Um, okay. Griffrot, 16 attack, 8 defense. Some teens decorated it as a prank. Get this off of me. Nope. Right. Um, well, let's decorate it more. You and some go you add some googly eyes you found on the ground. Gosh darn teenage googly eyes! Ooh, right. Griffrot stumbles blindly. Uh, gift it. Griffrot refuses your gift. How do I know it's not a trick? I think I've changed accent for every single one of those. Griffrot stumbles blindly. 
Uh, let's undecorate it. You remove the googly eyes. Thanks for nothing. No, I'm just gonna sit right here and not get hit by anything. Ah, the scent of fresh pine needles. Uh, undecorate. You remove a small, confused dog. That's a little better. Ooh. Dodge, 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 dodge. Let's uh, undecorate it. You remove the box of non-dog related raisins. That's a little better. Okay. Griffrot is slightly less irritated. Undecorate. You remove a socking filled with chicken nuggets. A weight has been lifted. Griffrot's problems have been taken away. Okay. Fair. You won. You earned 0 XP and 20 gold. It's an interesting cave here. Oh, I know what to do in this room. Uh, we're not going to do it though, but I know what to do. Uh, as I was looking up what to do for a genocide run, and it was saying there are some optional things you don't need to kill, and in that uh, room there, there is an enemy if you wait three minutes, apparently. I believe that's the right room. But we don't need to do that, because there's absolutely no purpose. So we're not going to. Cross the bridge. The very, very safe looking bridge. Human! This is your final and most dangerous challenge! Behold the gauntlet of deadly terror! When I say the word, it will fully activate! Cannons will fire, spikes will swing, blades will slice! Each part will swing violently up and down! Only the tiniest chance of victory will remain! Are you ready? Because... I am about to do it. Okay. Well, what's the hold up? Hold up. Hold up. I'm about to activate it now. That uh doesn't look very activated. Well, this challenge, it seems, maybe. Too easy to defeat the human with. Yeah, we can't use this one. I am a skeleton with standards. My puzzles are very fair. And my traps are expertly cooked. But this method is too direct. No class at all. And away it goes. Away it goes. Yeah. What are you looking at? This was another decisive victory for Papyrus. Nyeh. Nyeh. Yeah. I don't know what my brother's going to do now. If I were you, I would just make sure I understand blue attacks. Of course I understand blue attacks. They're the easiest thing in the world. Welcome to Snowden Town. Something behind the sign? Nothing behind the sign. Welcome to Snowden Town. Yes. The sight of such a friendly town fills you with... Determination. Cool. Now we have a box that we can stick a whole bunch of our junk in. Yes. Uh, we have a tough love in here as well. We should probably take tough love. Uh, you know what? Let's give it to the stick. And that's about it. What's a tough love even do? I think the stick can be used for things as well. Uh, but what's the tough love do? Tough love, weapon five attack, a worn pink levered love for five fingered folk. Uh, I mean, I suppose we should wear it. You equip the tough love. Did that unequip something else? The toy knife. Uh, let's put the toy knife in the box. There we go. Hello, traveler. How can I help you? Uh, I'd like to buy. What would you like to buy? Uh, I'd like the bandana, actually. It's got a lot of defense, but maybe we'll save up. Uh, cinnamon bun. Yeah, it's alright. Bicycle. Meh, no. Uh, let's try and sell stuff to her. Huh? Sell something? Do I look like a pawn shop? I don't know how it works where you come from, but... 
If I start spending money on old branches and used bandages, I'd be out of business in a jiffy. Yeah, okay. Let's talk. Hear the chat? Hiya, welcome to Snowden. I can't remember the last time I saw a fresh face around here. Where did you come from? The capital? You don't look like a tourist. Are you here by yourself? What do you do here? You want to know what to do here in Snowden? Grillbees has food and the library has information. If you're tired, you can take a nap at the inn. That's right next door. My sister runs it. And if you're bored, you can sit outside and watch those wacky skeletons do their thing. There's two of them, brothers, I think. They just showed up one day and asserted themselves. The town has gotten a lot more interesting since then. What's the town's history? Think back to your history class. A long time ago, monsters lived in the ruins back there in the forest. Long story short, we all decided to leave the ruins and head for the end of the caverns. Along the way, some fuzzy folk decided to light the coal and set up camp in Snowden. Oh, and don't think about trying to explore the ruins. The door has been locked for ages, so unless your ghost or can bury under the door, forget about it. How about your life? Laugh is the same as usual. A little claustrophobic, but we all know deep down freedom is coming, don't we? As long as we got that hope, we can grit our teeth and face the same struggles day after day. That's life, ain't it? Wow. Well, uh, see ya. Bye now. Come again sometime. Well, we're never going back there. Shop has nothing in it. Hello? Welcome to Snowden. It's a Snowden. Snowden's premier hotel. One night is 80G. No. Um, like how much money do we have? We could pay 80G. Can't go behind the desk. Oh, can't go upstairs. Okay. Hello. Mom says sleeping can recover your health above your maximum HP. What's maximum HP? Alright, fine. One night is 80G. Stay. Use your room key. Make sure you bundle up. Hiya, you look like you had a great sleep. Which is incredible because you were only up there for about two minutes. Here's your money back. You can pay me if you're going to stay overnight. Oh. Okay, did that put us above our maximum HP? It did. But it cost us no money. Interesting. Can we do that again and get more HP? Welcome to Snowed Inn. Snowden's premier hotel. One night is 80G. Here's your room key. Make sure you bundle up. Oh yeah, I've got sleeping guys again. So good. Z. 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 Yeah, this is, uh, this is just exciting. Z. Z. Hiya, you look like you had great sleep. Which is incredible because you were only up there for about two minutes. Here's your money back. You can pay me if you're not gonna stay of night if you're gonna stay overnight. Okay. It does not heal you above ten. Okay. Don't want to walk on the other side uh, to the other side of town? Try the under snow tunnels. They're efficiently laid out. Yeah, this just gets you to the other side of town. Don't need to do that. That lady over there, something about her disturbs me. It's my little cinnamon, just the cutest. Bun buns are so adorable. <laughs> bum 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 bum. Awful teens tormented a local monster by decorating his tree like horns. So we started giving that monster presents to make it feel better. 
Now it's tradition to prove presents underneath a decorated tree. It's a carefully decorated tree. Some of the presents are addressed from Santa to various locals. Yo, you're a kid too, right? If I can tell, because you're wearing a strap shirt. Cool. This town doesn't have a mayor. But if there's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. That's politics. Yo, what's up, people? No matter where I go, it's the same menu, same people. How? I want new drinks and uh, hot guys. Now, isn't human food different from monster food? It does things like smile. And when you eat it, it passes all the way through your whole body. Disgusting. I'd love to try it sometime. The jukebox is broken. The capital's getting pretty crowded. I've heard they're gonna start moving here. Hmm, I don't want to see the erasure of our local culture. But I definitely want to see some city slitters uh, slip onto their butts. For centuries, we never get any respect. Where's those skeletons would throw us a bone? We love bones. You better watch where you sit down in here, kid. Because that big guy will jump into your lab and give you lots of love and attention. I'm thinking we can inspect collar to show off my personality. If it makes a statement like, attach a leash to me and take me for a walk, please. It's playing poker against itself. It appears to be losing. I put out a line for some girls today. Someone told me that there are plenty of fish in the sea. Well, I'm taking that seriously. I'm literally gonna make out with a fish. Those dogs are part of the Royal Guard, the elite military group led by Undine. She's rude, loud, and beats up everyone who gets in her way. It's no wonder all the kids want to be like her when they grow up. Dot 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 Real bees said he'd offer you a glass of water, but he doesn't touch the stuff. Um, cool. That was fun. Everyone is always laughing and cracking jokes. We're trying to forget our modern crises. Deariness, crowding, lack of sunlight. I would join them, but I'm just not very funny. We all know the underground has problems, but we smile anyway. Why? We can't do anything, so why be morose about it? Ah, uh, to be young again. The world sure felt boundless. Okay, it's just like a squishy thing on the ground. Let's play Monsters and Humans! You aren't gonna make me be the human again, are you? Oh. Ah, oh, what a beautiful knock. Maybe if I don't answer, I'll hear it again. Ah, my patience rewards me. Ah. 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 Let's, let's get out of here. Yup. Chuck ice into water. He's got a good job. He's an important part of the uh, economic process here. If he wasn't here, the whole... A whole town would collapse. He just keeps in here, chucking ice from here to here. It's his job, and uh, he, he's very good at it. Doesn't say much, though. Ring, ring. Hello. Can I speak to... Yeah. Wait a second. Is this the wrong number? Oh, it's the wrong number. The wrong number song. We're very, very sorry that we got it wrong. Oh, it's the wrong number, the wrong number song. We're very, very, very sorry that we got it wrong. Can I call it back? I can tutorial. Nobody picked up. Okay. 
Right. Uh, library. Welcome to the library. Yes, we know. The sign is misspelled. I love working on the newspaper. There's so little to report that we just fill it in with comics and games. <laughs> when I was younger, my teachers gave me word searches when they ran out of assignments. I thought they were a waste of time. But look at me now. I'm the number one word search creator in the entire underground. That look in your eye. You're someone that is difficulty solving Junior Jumble, aren't you? Hmm. Papyrus has been talking. It's a school report about monster funerals. Monster funerals, technically speaking, are cool as heck. When monsters get old and kick the bucket, they turn into dust. At funerals, we take that dust and spread it on that person's favourite thing. Then their essence will live on in that thing. Uh, am I at the page minimum yet? I'm kind of sick of writing this. While monsters are mostly made of magic, human beings are mostly made of water. Humans, with their physical forms, are far stronger than us. But they will never know the joy of expressing themselves through magic. They'll never get a bullet pattern birthday card. Here I am, writing this book. A person comes in and picks up the book. They start reading it. Oh, sorry, I'm still writing that one. Because they are still made of magic, monsters' bodies are attuned to their soul. If a monster doesn't want to fight, its defenses will weaken. And the crueler the intentions of our enemies, the more their attacks will hurt us. Therefore, if a being with powerful soul struck with the desire to kill, um, let's end the chapter here. Monster History Part 4 Fearing the humans no longer, we moved out of our old city, Oh, We braved the harsh cold, damp swampland, and searing heat, until we reached what we now call our capital, New Hole. Again, our king is really bad at names. Love, hope, compassion, this is what people say monster souls are made of. But the absolute nature of a soul is unknown. After all, humans have proven their souls don't need these things to exist. Okay. It's a mailbox overflowing with unread junk mail. This mailbox is labelled Papyrus. Look inside. Yeah, it's empty. Aww. It's locked. It's locked from the inside. Well, I guess we're gone. Oh, no, we're not gone. There's a very important thing we need to do before we're gone. Save the game. The sight of such a friendly town fills you with determination. Yeah, of course. Let's go. I just think that no, we're just like tumbling through that. Like we just do continual forward rolls. Hey, Ice. Let's we'll keep it on screen. You know what? I don't think we'll keep much on the screen. Human, allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Feelings like the joy of finding another pasta lover and the admiration for another's puzzle-solving skills. The desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool. These feelings, they must be what you are feeling right now. I can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I am very great. I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not, you shall be lonely no longer. I, the Great Papyrus, will be your... No. This is all wrong. I can't be your friend. You are a human. I must capture you. Then I can fulfill my lifelong dream. Powerful, popular, prestigious. That's Papyrus, the newest member of the Royal Guard. Papyrus blocks the way. Papyrus, 20 attack, 20 defense. He likes to say things like, Nihaha! Nihaha! Well, this is super easy. 
The Pyrus is preparing a bone attack. Let's insult him. How selfless! You want me to feel better about fighting you? I don't deserve such hospitality from you. Papyrus is trying hard to play it cool. Let's flirt with them. What? Flirting? Do you finally reveal your ultimate feelings? Well, I'm a skeleton with very high standards. I have zero redeeming qualities. Oh no! That humility it reminds me of myself. You're meeting all my standards. Let's date later after I catch you. I'm gonna insult him again. Paris is thinking about what to wear for his date. There's no need to lie to yourself. Your barbs hide a hidden affection, you emotional cactus. Papyrus is thinking about what to cook for his date. I'm gonna flirt again. Oh no! Let's stay later after I capture you. Papyrus stabs some bone cologne behind his ear. I'm gonna insult him again. Don't! Don't waste your words on me! Papyrus stabs marinara sauce behind his ear. I'm gonna insult him again. You insult, but to no avail. Seems acting won't escalate this battle. Don't waste your words on me. I'm not gonna hit Papyrus. Papyrus stabs some MTT brand Bichet cream behind his ear. I'm gonna flirt again. You flirt, but to no avail. It seems acting won't escalate this battle. Let's date later, after I capture you. I'm not going to fight Papyrus. Papyrus stabs some MTT brand anime powder behind his ear. Spare. So you won't fight. Then, let's see if you can handle my fabled blue attack. I'm deliberately getting hit here. Just so you know. I want to see if it did anything. Uh, excuse me? No. Oh. You're blue now! Dabba dee dabba die! That's my attack! <laughs> You're blue now. I'm gonna spare him. Hmm, I wonder what I. I wonder what I should wear! Papyrus stabs MTT brand attraction slime behind his ear. What? I'm not thinking about that date thing. That's easy. Papyrus stabs MTT brand beauty yogurt behind his ear. Yeah, don't make me use my special attack. Papyrus realizes he doesn't have ears. I can almost taste my future popularity. Boom. 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 Ow. Oh, that was unfair. Papyrus is rattling his bones. Papyrus, head of the Royal Guard! Oh, wow. Oops. Ooh. Papyrus is considering his options. Papyrus! Unparalleled spaghetti. Oh no. I should probably heal. Uh, monster candy. Yeah, fine. And Dine will be really proud of me. Papyrus whispers, <laughs> The king will trim a hedge in the shape of my smile. Oh, that was awful. Oh. There we go. Papyrus rattling his bones. My brother, well, he won't change very much. 
Oh no. That was awful. The Paris whispers, Neh. I'll have lots of admirers, but. Papyrus is preparing a bone attack. Okay, nice cream. It is great, recovered 15 HP. Will anyone like me as sincerely as you? Oh. Right, get around these bone attacks. Papyrus is trying it hard to play it cool. Someone like you is very rare. Oh, oh, we did it. And did it again. The hitbox is not what it seems. It smells like bones. And dating might be kinda hard. Papyrus is trying hard to play it cool. After you're captured and sent away. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, uh, that was entirely my fault. In fact, all of these have been entirely my fault. Apart from that one where it came from the side. Papyrus prepares a non-bone attack, then spends a minute fixing his mistake. Ah, who cares? Give up! Oh, that was awful. Papyrus whispers, <laughs> Give up our face by... Special attack! Papyrus remembers a bad joke Sans told him and is frowning. Yeah, very soon I'll use my special attack! Oh, that was... Papyrus is cackling. Not too long and I will use that special attack! Okay, that's not good. I can't take any more damage. Whoa. No. No. Right. Papyrus is trying hard to play it. Cool. Uh, I have the butterscotch pie. I don't want to use them. Maybe the bandage? You reapplied the bandage. It's still kind of gooey. You recover 10 HP. This is your last chance before my special attack. Are these getting slower? These seem like they're getting slower. It could be me. It could be exactly the same speed. Papyrus considers is considering his options. Behold my special attack! What the heck? That's my special attack! Hey, you stupid dog! Do you hear me? Stop munching on that bone! Hey, what are you doing? Come back here with my special attack! Oh well, I'll just use a really cool regular attack. Paris is getting ready for a regular attack. Sai, here's an absolutely normal attack. You're right. It was an absolutely normal attack and it still hit me. Well. Okay. I lived. Well, huh, it's like you can uh, defeat me. Yeah, I can see you shaking your boobs. Therefore, I, the great papyrus, elect you, grant you pity. I will spare you, human. Now's your chance to accept my mercy. Here's where you punch him in the face. No, spare. I can't even stop someone as weak as you. Undine's gonna be disappointed in me. I'll never join the Royal Guard. And my friend quality will, quantity will remain stagnant. What should you say? Let's be friends. Really? You wanna be friends? With me? Well then, I guess. I guess I can make an alliance for you. Oh wait, 
I haven't even we haven't even had a first date. And I've already managed to hit friend zone. Who knew that's all I needed to make pals? Was to give people awful puzzles then fight them. You taught me a lot, human. I hereby grant you permission to pass through. And I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then, when you reach the capsule, cross the barrier. That's the magical seal trapping us all underground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit. Except someone with a powerful soul. Like you! That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open a barrier with the soul power. Then us monsters can return to the surface. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you will have to pass through the king's castle. The king of all monsters. He is, well, he's a big fussy pushover. Everyone loves that guy. I'm certain if you just say, excuse me, Mr. Dremur, can I go home? He'll guide you right to the barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and have a, that day. <laughs> Woo. Right. Let's uh, head back to town. Just dodge Papyrus there while we go and heal. The sight of such a friendly town fills you with determination. Welcome to Snowed In, Snowed In's premier hotel. One night is 80G. Here's your room key. Make sure to bundle up. 